are doing great because we just hit half a million subscribers! Sam, high five! Uh, okay, why do you need a movie clapper? So I just wanted to thank you, dear subscribers. To make you happy, we decided to make another one the coolest… Yes, and also because you like the previous one so much. By the way, I'll leave the link to this video in the description. Sam, what are we going to need? Amazing! Unforgettable! Corrugated cardboard! Almost! And not just corrugated cardboard, but the five-layer one. Our machine will be super sturdy. What's next? Wondrous! Fabulous! Cool! Unspeakably useful! The only… Sammy, let's not do the special effects! <laughs> but you told me no special effects! First, let's set the compass to 14.5 centimeters. And draw a circle with this radius on a piece of cardboard. What is this radius? It's… <gasps> hey, maybe our viewers can help you! Guys, if you know what a radius is, comment below! Now I'll carefully cut the circle out by the outline. Guys, always ask adults for help when working with sharp objects like a knife. Now I'll take a short thread and get it through this hole in the middle of the circle. And fix it with a drop of hot glue. Sam, I see you! What are you doing? I, uh, I'm going! And now I'll show you how to draw a perfect circle without a ruler or a compass. This cool life hack will definitely come in handy at school. Commercial break! Do you need more school hacks? Subscribe to my channel Sam, and… you better go make some cardboard stripes. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Sam just can't let us craft in peace. Let's carry on while he's away. I'll make a mark on the cardboard with a ruler. And another one. And now it's not just circles drawn on cardboard, but a spiral and the base of our machine. Hey, Sam, where are the stripes? Here we go. What's this? What? Stripes! Zebra stripes! Oh, I wanted you to cut them out, not draw them. <laughs> stripes! Cardboard! What else? Take it over from here. I gotta run. And if you like my stripes better than the cut stripes, give a thumbs up. Oh, Sam. His approach reminds me of my little sister, Samantha. Well, it's good that I already cut out these stripes out of double-layer cardboard. It bends really well and will work great here. Now, I'll apply some glue to the first stripe and start making a 3D spiral by the outline. Gotta be accurate here. Careful now, just like this. Done! It reminds me of a hypnotic spiral. But some details seem to be missing. Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, right. Great angle. Now another small cardboard piece here. Oh, well, it's okay. Like this. Yes, here. Very well. Apply some glue and attach this piece at a small angle. Why do you have my phone? Just don't get mad. You're making an ever-working candy machine, right? Kind of. And you deserve a Nobel Prize! Oh, just imagine. You'll be interviewed. They'll be filming you for the news. The whole world will be interested in how the genius invention was created. So I'm capturing it for history. And the scissors and other stationery? For the ambiance, of course. It's a DIY category. Okay, go capture. But don't get in my way or they'll be making news about you. What do you mean? You don't have to do this! <laughs> While Sam was having fun, I prepared the details we'll need. I joined them together, like this. I'll attach this complex part to the spiral. And fix it with the hot glue. What would we do without it? Let's place a power source down here. And attach the revolving part at the top. Everything should look very neat. Like this. Now we need to cover up all these mechanisms. These details will be the base for our spiral machine. I'll attach them to both sides. One and two. And here goes a little stick to fix the mechanism. I made a small cutout for a switch here. Let's attach another smaller detail to it. And the final touch. Get the cap in place. And done! <gasps> Look how awesome it turned out! <laughs> now it kind of looks like a fan. Camera, action! 
Sasha! My name is Sam, and I'm a friend of Miss Sue. Oh, no, wait! I'm her mainest press agent. <laughs> me, a YouTube star? <gasps> Why, yes, yes, it's true. I have my own channel. Miss Sue helps me a little. Talent attracts talent, you know. How is it living with a genius? Oh, don't even... Oh, Abby! I will destroy you! I wonder what Sam's doing. No help whatsoever. Oh, well, I'll surprise him with the finished machine. I need these details to build the rest of the machine. To put them in place, I'll need supportive parts, like these. Apply the glue carefully, because it's very hot. And glue one support to the base, like this. And the next one. Now, let's set up the chutes. You see how one support is slightly higher than the other one? That's so the candies can roll down. Now, I'll put all the supports all around the machine. Let's go! Ta-da! The spiral candy machine is ready, guys! Oh, I'm just in time! Susie, it's for you. Oh, what is it? What is it? That's your acceptance speech for the award ceremony! I want to thank everybody who helped me to get this honorable award, but special thank you to Slime Sam. Without him, I would still be some unknown hands on YouTube. Sam, come on! What? And then you'll say one more thing exactly like this. Dear friends, if you like my ever-evolving candy machine, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the best DIY channel of Slime Sam. Yeah, right. By the way, it's ever-evolving only until the batteries die. How? What about my dreams, my hopes and expectations? Oh, Sammy, stop with the drama. I better show you how this machine works. <laughs>